Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a quadrilateral which is subdivided into uh, three triangles in the yellow triangle which has a measure of four square units and a green triangle which measures uh, nine square units in this uh, uh, quadrilateral has a side which is divided into two congruent segments and uh, we are required to find the area of the blue triangle okay so first thing that i want you to notice is that uh, these uh, two uh, segments uh, b e and e d are actually divided at point e and if we draw a vertical line upwards from e and downwards to this base of the green triangle and from B to this point until it reaches the uh, this segment, the segment from E upwards. So we, this will be actually a right triangle if we draw that way. And this is a right triangle also. And notice that these are two vertical angles. So let's say that if, it's, if it is alpha, and this should be alpha, and the angle the other angle since this is 90 so this is should be a complement so let's call this as beta and for the green portion green right triangle this also should be a complement which is beta and therefore by uh, angle side angle congruence because uh, two lengths in between two congruent angles are within uh, in these two triangles then therefore uh, this uh, uh, two right triangles are actually uh, congruent and from that conclusion we can say that this uh, leg let's say this is h this that is also equal to this uh, leg to be h because they are actually congruent triangles okay so uh, we have drawn that height and uh, first focus on that uh, fact because as you can see we have here two triangles uh, these two triangles uh, four square units for the yellow and the nine square unit triangle for the green they have the same height and of course, since this is uh, almost a trapezoid, shall we call it a trapezoid, uh, these two triangles have different lengths of bases. So, uh, this uh, the length of the bases, uh, A, B, and C, D are different. And therefore, these lengths are also the uh, bases of the two triangles. So, uh, we can actually write an equation about the area of this uh, yellow and the uh, green triangle. So for the first triangle, the yellow, we have 4 is equal to 1 half times. Let's call this AB is length as A and this length as B. So 1 half times the base times the height. So the base is A. So A and the height is h and for the other is one uh, nine is equal to one half times uh, b times h and okay and we can actually say that if we cross multiply this this uh first equation this let's call this as equation one in this as equation two and if you try to cross multiply we have eight is equal to cross multiply this is equal to a, a, a h and for the second one we have 18 is equal to b h okay okay so next is we write a formula for the area of this full figure okay so 
let's say that we call this area A, B, C, D. Area A, B, C, D is equal to uh, one half times uh, the height is 2H. So 2H and the bases are equal to A plus B. Some of the bases, so area A, B, C, D is equal to, we can actually cancel this 2 and 2. So we have A, H plus B, H. And the area of A, B, C, D is equal to, since A, H is equal to 8, and B, H is equal to 18. So we have area of A, B, C, D equal to 26 square units okay so for the final step the area of w uh, is equal to the uh, area a b c d which is the total a b c d minus the area of the yellow minus the area of the green which is C, D, E. Or let's say area of the yellow is A, B, E. So let's say it is A, B, E. A, B, E. Minus area of C, D, E. And area of the blue. Uh, area of the blue is equal to uh, area of A, B, C, D. As we have calculated this 26. Minus. A, B, E is 4 minus 9. So 26 minus 4 minus 9 is gives us 13 square units. And that is our answer. Okay, so another approach to this problem. So shall we say a second uh, solution uh, is that uh, since this uh this uh, point t is on the midpoint of segment bd we can say actually that uh, this uh, point divides the uh, full uh, rectangle uh, rectangular into uh, two areas uh, if you sum the uh, yellow and the uh, green it is 13 so actually since it is on point E which is half of the uh, or the midpoint of BD so we can say it will be half of the uh, quadrilateral so 4 plus 9 is 13 so times 2 will be 26 so that is the whole so if 26 is the whole and you subtract uh, this 4 and 9 so it will of course be 13 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye